how the defense play today? Uh, I think I think we did all right. You know, it's hard to tell. Um, you always think you did better or worse than what you actually did. Um, I just got a chance to watch a little bit of our two minute, and uh, we did a pretty good job in two minute. But as far as the rest of the players, I, I'm still unsure. Um, it felt good though. It felt good to be running around in Jack Trice. So uh, we'll see. We'll see come Tuesday. Very young. Front seven, obviously, and you're kind of the yeah. you're kind of the guy back there. I mean, how, how's that been for you? Because it's kind of a different role than in recent years. I mean, um, I'm the same kind of player. Um, I'm vocal, and um, I just took some of the things I learned from Jake and AJ, and uh, the things I continue to learn from Coach Wally, and uh, I just try to spread it around to the young guys. Um, I saw Jevin Miller next to me, and uh, I, I feel like I've kind of grown up with him in mm. this program. So uh, we communicate a lot. And then as far as some of the young guys, um, they're, they're coming along. Um, I see myself in, in them when I first got here getting yelled at. Uh, coach having to repeat the same thing over and over. But uh, for some of them, they just have to find things that click for them. And um, they'll be all right. Well, they said Jevin was doing some good things. Kind of, what have you seen out of him? Um, I think he's been a little bit more aggressive. Uh, Jevin's kind of been timid the last couple of years, but this is his opportunity and he's making the most out of it. Um, you know, every day uh, Wally says get 2% better and I think he's done that. Um, whether it be his open field tackling, whether it's shedding the block, um, he's, he's continuing to do that. Wally said he thinks maybe you're trying to do too much. Uh, and I guess how would you, how would you, how would you is that accurate in your life? Well, I mean, uh, sometimes. Uh, you know, um, there, there, there come times when there's some behind me and I've, I've become a smarter player, obviously. Um, this being my second year where I'm getting a lot more reps. So I'll, I'll know what, or I think what's about to happen, but it, I'm just a little bit too more advanced for my own self. So I just got to take a step back. I'm going to try to do that the rest of the spring. Woody was talking about raving about Wimberley's speed. Can oh, yeah. You are a guy out there trying to catch him. Can yeah. you talk about that? Um, he's very fast. And, um, you know, he's not one of those uh, shake and bake kind of guys. He makes one cut and he gets north and south. Um, I think his biggest strength, though, in my opinion, would be uh, when he gets contact, he keeps driving his legs. I saw that on film uh, on one play when I hit him. And he was still driving his legs, trying to get uh, three, three or four more yards. So um, he's a very fast player, and he's he's not afraid to lower his pads either. Now he can do this against gets you guys out there in practice, but when he gets up to Texas, Oklahoma. Oh, I think State. he'll be able to do it against Texas, Oklahoma, yeah. Kansas State, whoever you want him up yeah. there. So. Well, he also said he likes how you have you know, taken on a leadership role. Like, yeah. how, how important is that to you? To you know, um, it's, it's very important. I mean. Um, Jake and AJ, they babysitted me for two years, three years, uh, however long it was. So, you know, I, I had great teachers. Um, last year, they kind of let me be vocal. And this year, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be that guy for the rest of the defense. And maybe that's why Coach Wally uh, said what he said about me, because I'm trying to be that guy for, for our defense.